Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk about proven ways to better your brain cognitively and psychologically. When you start forgetting things, you blame your brain. For example, when you don't feel so good since you stayed up late and drank till 3am, you won't be working in the office like a sharp instrument. When you don't even notice what doesn't work among the solutions you come up with and argue for during meetings, you have to do something about this. When you can relate to all of these, you need to better your brain, both in sharpening your perceptions, in improving how you approach your problems, in analyzing information, and in adjusting your health, sleep, eating, and working out regime. Your brain is not only like a muscle, it's also like a 10 year old. Let me put it out this way, it could have started out curious and as you nourish that curiosity and savor the habit of learning more, of seeing relationships among things, of solving problems, you tend to improve the cognitive aspect of your brain. Problem solving is a good way to keep your brain sharp. Once you get familiar with how your biases clog and impede your way of seeing things and you get some training on problem solving techniques, not only will your stress levels go down, you will start to feel empowered. Most people try to avoid problems, but if you're curious on how to generate solutions to things and try them out, then problems become opportunities to make things better. The more empowered and capable you feel about your problem solving skills, the better you feel about yourselves, the more you become capable of dealing with stress. Consequently, the more capable your observational and analytical skills become, the healthier your brain gets. So it's recommended you start researching on problem solving techniques and see how the many strategies may apply to your various domestic, academic and work scenarios. On the other hand, your brain is like a muscle. It atrophies or welts when you don't use it. Like a plant, it doesn't grow well when it doesn't receive the right nutrients. Like a dog underfed and eating trash, it limbs and gets sick easily. There is also a social and self-affirmative positive outlook about trying to better your brain. It basically involves spending time enjoying the company of your friends, your family, when you can be by yourself and just letting it all hang. There's something spiritually relieving about being yourself and around the people you're comfortable with and whose company you enjoy. This kind of rest is good for your brain too. Get some sleep, a lot of sleep. Your brain works better when your synapses are healthily firing and your subconscious has had time to sort itself out. This means resting physically and mentally. The more time away from a problem you get, the more your mind has time to work on it subconsciously. It's always better to approach work problems after a long night's sleep. Always remember to work out on a regular basis. This is because the more your heart gets pumped and often the more blood circulates throughout your body and to your brain, bringing fresh supplies of oxygen and nutrients to it. Also, working out brings about increased levels of release of endorphins that make you feel good. It's no wonder some people become addicted to exercise. Your brain will like it too. These are just some of the ways to better your brain. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day.